Hi, this is Chief C with Beyond 20. Today, we're just going to take a quick look at how to turn on plugins, uh, how to verify that they're active if you already think they are. Um, so uh, I've already gotten ourselves to the page just because it takes a while to load. Um, basically, all we would do is in our filter navigator, we would go to plugins. Now, when we go here, it's going to bring us to an application page. You can search through the applications, or it does give you the option to go directly to the plugins. Um, I prefer to go to the plugins if I know what the ID is, because uh, then I can search it directly. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to search for KCS. We can see there's two plugins here, the Knowledge Management KCS Capabilities that's currently active, uh, and the KCS Integration for Incident Management that's currently inactive. So if I want to turn on this Integration for Incident Management, I can just click on it. And then down here, I can click the Activate Repair button. So in this case, we can see that it has a dependency that we have the Knowledge Management Advanced Installer, which I also currently have installed. It'll tell you if you have it installed or if you don't. Uh, if you don't have it installed, uh, it will offer to install it as well. And I'm going to go ahead and activate. So the plugin starts to activate. Uh, it, there are some plugins that you can also activate with demo data in there. Uh, which can be handy if you're in a demo system, for instance. Um, based on the size of the plugin, we'll determine how long it takes. Like if you're activating CSM, for instance, that's going to take a lot longer than this KCS integration for incident management. Um, but if you're looking to repair or activate a uh, plugin, here's where you would go. Um, once again, we went to, to the filter navigator, we searched plugins. And like I said, you can go straight through the applications if you'd like. A lot of times I prefer to click on the go to the plugins, uh, just due to time considerations. Didn't do, didn't show you that exactly, but those are the steps you would take. Uh, once it's done, it'll ask you to refresh and your plugin is installed. And that's all I've got for now. Thanks and have a great day.